the African group of UN ambassadors is extremely appalled at, and strongly condemns the outrageous, racist and xenophobic remarks by the President of the United States of America as widely reported by the media, a statement said. After an emergency session to weigh Trump's remarks, the group said it was concerned at the continuing and growing trend from the U.S. administration toward Africa and people of African descent to denigrate the continent and people of color. While demanding a retraction and an apology from Trump, the 54 countries also thanked those Americans from all walks of life who have condemned the remarks. The resolution was passed unanimously after four hours of discussions. For once, we are all on the same page, an ambassador told AFP. The ambassadors did not consult their governments before issuing the resolution, he said, adding that some could now expect to receive phone calls from their capitals because of the text's strong tone. Trump's comments were allegedly made on Thursday at a White House meeting with lawmakers on immigration reform. After lawmakers raised the issue of protections for immigrants from African nations, Haiti, and El Salvador, the president reportedly demanded to know why the United States should accept immigrants from s whole countries, rather than for instance wealthy and overwhelmingly white Norway. He tweeted a convoluted denial Friday in an attempt to quell outrage both at home and abroad. Earlier, the 55-nation African Union condemned the remarks, while Botswana and Senegal hauled in the U.S. ambassador to complain. The comment truly flies in the face of accepted behavior and practice, said Eva Kalando, spokeswoman for O'Chief Mausafaki. Western Sahara is not recognized as a sovereign state by the UN and thus not included in its African group. It is, however, part of the African Union, which Morocco left in 1984 over the body's recognition of the disputed territory's independence, before rejoining it last year. Nothing new. This is not the first time Trump has rubbed Africans up the wrong way. He was widely derided last year after he twice referred to Namibia as Nambia. On social media, users across the continent on Friday posted images of modern skylines and beautiful nature from their countries with the ironic hashtag S Hole. Many Africans reminded the U.S. of its historic role in the continent's woes. President Trump, one day, I'll take you to a s-hole country called Ghana, wrote Ghanaian Edmund Prime Sarpung on Facebook. First stop would be OSU Castle, Elmina Castle, and the over 40 forts that detained about 30 million slaves, beaten and shipped out like sardine cans and then I will tell you the history of Africa and why people like you made that a s-hole continent. Prominent Kenyan commentator Patrick Gathera, told AFP that Trump's words were nothing new from a racist and ignorant administration, nor from the West at large. This is no different from what Hollywood and Western media have been saying about Africa for decades. We have consistently been portrayed as SH Thai people from SH Thai countries. Extremely offensive. This statement shocks us a lot as Africans but as black people too said Senegalese teacher Mohamed Dai, adding that we do not need Americans or Europeans, we will go it alone. Some acknowledged problems in their countries, but blamed this on their poor leaders as well as Western nations such as the US. Please don't confuse the hashtag s whole leaders we Africans elect with our beautiful continent. Our motherland is the most blessed continent that has been raped by imperialists in collaboration with our SH Thymus leaders for generations, wrote Kenyan activist Boniface Mwanji on Twitter. In South Africa, the ruling party declared ours is not a s-hole country and described Trump as extremely offensive. It is not as if the United States doesn't have difficulties. There are millions of unemployed people in the US, millions of people who don't have health care services or access to education and we would not deign to make comments as derogatory as that, said Jesse Duarte the Deputy Secretary General of the African National Congress, ANC, dot its RS hole. Some Nigerians however did not hold back, with many on Twitter saying their country was a S hole, but that it was our S hole to criticize. In Senegal's capital Dakar, Administrator Idrissa Fall said we cannot really say that he, Trump, is wrong. African countries, and sometimes our leaders, do not exactly deal with the problems of the worst off, that's what makes people immigrate. Even war-torn South Sudan weighed in, 
with President Salva Kiir's spokesman Atini Wekatini slamming the comments as outrageous. However Juba businesswoman Jenny Jor, 31, told AFP that Trump's remarks were on point. It is thanks to our African leaders that we are insulted that way, she said. Trump's latest comments also provided ample fodder for talk show hosts. South African comedian Trevor Noah, star of The Daily Show, described himself as an offended citizen of South S. Hole and also criticized Trump's preferred choice of Norway for immigrants. He didn't just name a white country, he named the whitest dash so white they wear moonscreen, he said. Source, AFP, SBS.